Welcome back. This is how our code looks right now. One of the important things that you would already observe is the fact that we are creating objects. So we are creating an object of the algorithm. We are creating an object of the binary search and we are actually wiring them together. And then we are invoking the binary search. We made the binary search loosely coupled by passing the sort algorithm to use as one of the constructor arguments. It would be great actually if some framework can take control of creation of the beans and the dependencies. What we are looking at on the screen right now is a very simple example, right? So we have one bean and one dependency. But if you look at a typical application, there might be 1000 beans and 3000 dependencies. You would want some framework to manage the beans and the dependencies. What we are calling as a bean is an instance of this object. So this is a bean. So I'm creating a new quick sort algorithm. That's a bean. So we would want to be able to create beans and we would want to be able to wire in the dependencies. So we would want to be able to create new quick sort algorithm and wire it in into the binary search IMPL. That's called wiring. So we would want to be able to create beans. We would want to be able to manage and populate the dependencies we would want a framework to be able to do that. The Spring framework helps us to manage beans, wire in the dependencies and do a lot of magic. One of the things we already know is the fact that Spring framework is already in our Maven dependencies. So we already know that the base framework of Spring, so Spring core is already here, Spring beans is already here, Spring context is also here. We are getting these dependencies through something called Spring Boot Starter. Let's not worry about it right now. The most important thing is the fact that Spring is already available for us to use. To be able to make best use of Spring, we would need to tell it three different things. One is, what are the beans? So what are the different beans that Spring has to manage? The second thing that you need to tell it is, what are the dependencies for a bean? Binary search IMPL, if you look at it, the dependency for it is the sort algorithm. So we need to be able to tell Spring that, okay, sort algorithm is a dependency of binary search IMPL. So that's number two. The third thing we need to be able to tell Spring is where to search for beans. Where to search for beans. If let's say you tell Spring that there are certain beans present. So I've told Spring about the beans and the dependencies. It needs to know where to search for them. So should I search in this package or should I search it in another package? Where should I really search for the beans? These are the three questions we would need to tell Spring about. We need to answer them for Spring so that Spring would be able to help us to wire beans together. So the first thing we need to tell Spring Framework is what are the different beans? To start off, what we'll do is we'll use bubble sort and the binary search IMPL. So I would want to tell binary search IMPL is a bean. How do I tell that? The way you tell that to Spring is by adding an annotation called at component. At component, control one or command one, and you would be able to import the at component. I'm telling Spring what are the different components to manage. The other thing I would also want Spring to manage for now, like I would want to use bubble sort algorithm, so I'll make it a component. Bubble sort algorithm is now managed by Spring as well. The second thing I have to do is what are the dependencies of the bean? So we created two beans, right? So we said these are the two beans by using the add component. So in add component, I would need to tell Spring that this is a dependency. How do I tell Spring that this is a dependency? The way I would do that is by adding something called add auto wired. So this is another annotation which is present in Spring at auto wired. So you can see it in here. So I'm adding an at auto wired annotation on the sort algorithm. Now I'm telling that binary search IMPL depends on sort algorithm. Sort algorithm is a dependency for binary search. Bubble sort algorithm does not really have any dependencies. So I don't really need to add auto wired in here. So the last thing that I need to tell Spring usually is where to search for beans. So if you look at all our classes are in the same package, com in 28 minutes, spring basics, spring in five steps. So that's where all our beans are. So to the two beans that we have defined are basically the bubble sort algorithm and 
the binary search IMPL. So we would want Spring to search in this package. So we call that something called component scan. So we would want Spring to do a component scan in this particular package. We are using Spring Boot. Spring Boot would automatically scan the package where the main application class is present. So here, if you look at this Spring Boot application, so this is using an at Spring Boot application annotation. What the at Spring Boot application annotation does is it automatically scans the package and the sub packages of the package where this is in. So Spring in five steps application, which package is it in? It's in this specific package. Com in 28 minutes, Spring basic Spring in five steps. So automatically Spring Boot would scan this package and its sub packages for the beans. So there is no need to do this because we are in the same package. First two steps we have completed. What are the beans and what are the dependencies of a bean? That's pretty cool. So now we are saying Spring is going to manage these beans. I don't need to create this. The binary search, we said Spring would create it for us. So we said instead of we doing this creation of code, Spring would do that for us. I would want to be able to get the binary search from Spring. So I would want to get the binary search bean from Spring. How do I do that? The way you can do that is by using the Spring context. This is a line which we already commented. As we said, we are going to create a lot of beans. So Spring framework is going to create a lot of beans for us. Where are all these beans going to be present? We would create a bean for binary search. We would create a bean for quick sort algorithm. But where would all these be managed? These would all be managed by something called application context. Spring application context is the one which would maintain all the beans. So what we would need to do is we would need to get the bean from the application context. So over here, if you look at it, spring application dot run. So we are running a spring application in here. I'm importing spring application. I'm again pressing control one. I would want to actually assign this statement to a local variable. The run method actually returns the application context back. So I would want to take the application context and do things with it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the spring application dot run. It's returning me the application context. And from the application context, I would now want to get the bean. So application context dot get bean. What kind of bean do we want? We would want the bean of the binary search class. So binary search IMPL dot class. I would want to take this and assign it to a local variable called binary search. Take a step back and think about what are all the things that we have done in this step. First, we told Spring what are the beans. How did we do that? At component. Then we told Spring what are the dependencies of the bean. So we, how did we do that? At auto wired. These beans are managed by the Spring application context. So we got an application context by running the Spring Boot application class using the Spring application class. This is by default. I mean, if you create a Spring Boot project using start.spring.io, this line is by default present. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that value and assigning it to the application context. So now I have an application context. From the application context, I'm getting the binary search bean. So I'm getting the binary search bean from the application context and executing it. For this specific example, all these things might look complex, but think about an application which has thousands of beans. The fact that you don't need to do this always and you can directly get the beans from the application context, you can let Spring take care of the dependencies and their wiring, that makes it very easy to manage your applications. We will learn about all that kind of stuff in later steps, but for now, let's focus on getting this thing up and running. We'll add a small sysout at the end. So sysout, control space, system.out.println result. And if we remember things fine, actually, we are already printing something in the binary search IMPL, right? So we are actually printing the sort algorithm. So we are printing the sort algorithm out and also we are actually printing the result out. So what we have done is instead of creating the instances of binary search and the quick sort algorithm ourselves and wiring them together, we made Spring to wire them together. And we are getting the binary search IMPL bean from Spring and we are printing the result. Let's see what the result would be. Run as Java application. Okay, console. So 
if I see this, this is the output which is being printed. So let's copy this output out and see what's being printed. So we see that the component being used is bubble sort. That's cool because that's the one which we said Spring to manage. So we said Spring manage this component and Spring is able to find that component and wire it in. And we see that the result is being printed three. What we have done in this step is we made Spring manage our beans. So instead of we creating the bean for binary search, we instead of we creating the bean for bubble sort, instead of quick sort, we used bubble sort. And we made Spring to do all the magic and create the beans for us. Spring is managing the beans for us. Spring is managing dependencies. So Spring manages the dependencies, injects the dependencies wherever they are needed, and it manages the entire life cycle of these beans. That's what is called dependency management as far as the beans are concerned. So Spring does dependency management as far as your Java classes, individual beans are concerned. In this step, we learned how to get Spring to manage the dependencies for us there might be a lot of questions in your mind. Algorithm which is being used is bubble sort. How do I change it to use quick sort? And how can I do that dynamically? And there might be other questions as well. We'll answer those questions in the subsequent steps. Until the next step, bye-bye.